Zenis, when Adam Clayton Powell was seated, was there much debate? Well, yes, actually, the first day of Congress from about noon till they adjourned after 8 o'clock at night was spent on that subject. Uh, his seating was challenged, and there was a motion then to seat him, which was debated back and forth, and of course he was finally seated with a fine and a loss of seniority. I personally voted against seating him uh, for the reason that the committee which had checked his situation in 1967 had found that he had misappropriated approximately $40,000 of government money and no one denied that during the debate. So the situation didn't appear to me to have changed from that of the two years before when he was excluded. That was the basis of my vote, but he was seated. Was there much dissension on the floor? Well, there was a long debate and several roll calls on different phases of the matter, and uh, I forget the debate on seating him, but there was a pretty good debate, uh, a pretty good vote against seating him. Uh. Now, the new electoral <coughs> reform is being debated. Would you care to tell us about that? Well, that's before the Judiciary Committee in the House, of which I'm a member. There are basically three proposals being made. One is to elect the president by direct popular vote. Another is what's called the proportional method, which would divide the electoral vote of a state in proportion to the popular vote, rather than having the winner take all. And the third is what's known as the district system, which would assign the two electors who represent the senators uh, to the winner of the state as a whole and would assign the other electoral votes by district, probably congressional district or some special electoral district, so that, for instance, in a state like New York or Illinois, the city of Chicago or the city of New York wouldn't determine the full electoral votes. You'd get a maybe a different vote upstate or downstate. Now, those are the three basic methods. Uh, being debated, I rather tend to favor the uh, district system, which it seems to me uh, corrects most of the abuses of our present system and still retains the federal system that we've always worked with. But that's before the committee, and uh, whether the Congress will ever be able to agree on passing any one of these by a two-thirds vote. Uh, or what the committee will do in the House remains to be seen.